Assalamu alaikum jazz ahlan wa sahlan peace be upon you check it out what I have in my hands this is very interesting and finally another super cheap projector from China for juicy uh, GX100 selling for $70 on bangle.com guys only $70 the buying links in the description support my channel uh, by shopping online let's go with my links in the description support me support me guys enjoy so a quickie unboxing, I'm not gonna bother you about using some knives, blah blah blah. Immediately here unboxing, what you see in the box. Uh, of course, uh, power, uh, power brake, uh, the user guide already showed you, very simple user guide. This is EU, uh, of course, power brake. We have also a controller, mini mini controller guys, which it seems that it doesn't have a mouse support. Unfortunately, it doesn't have, it doesn't have mouse support. I don't know why, but it's okay. Check it out guys, what you're gonna see in the box. Uh, metallic. Metallic tripod, that is very nice. That is very nice from them, I love this. This what I love, that's gonna be very nice. Most of the projectors don't come with the uh, stand. And this one's super, it's so cheap and they give you a metallic sturdy premium uh, tripod. Thank you, thank you so much. Not to mention and don't forget the HDMI cable. Let's move now to the projector guys. Here is the projector. Check out how small this is. This is very tiny projector guys. Uh, so the high, basically the height, I would say, how, how do you call it? The height is uh, six centimeters. Yeah, six centimeters, yes. The height is six centimeters here where is the slowest, the smallest. And I think maybe here seven centimeters here over here. Uh, anyway, the width is uh, 13 centimeters and length is 14.5 centimeters. So that's a very small projector, guys. Very small projector and I love how they've done it. GX100. Uh, on the back, remember guys, uh, right now in stock, they have a white color, uh, Banggood, while the black color is not yet in stock. On the back, we have HDMI port, SD card expansion, one USB 2.0 port, headphone jack, IR and DC port, guys. Plus we have fans on the back, like you say by stuff, yeah? On the sides we have speakers. And also, if you lose your controller or something happens with your controller, you do have support for the physical buttons on the projector itself. Here we have the beautiful lens. We're just gonna return it back. It came with this protection, with this protector, guys. I love this, check it out. Awesome stuff. Anyway, so guys, what do we have? A 2.4 inch LCD TFT display. Uh, the, the original resolution of this projector is uh, 480 with 800, but it does support a resolution output of 720p or 1080p. Uh, brightness is 1800. 1800 lumens, contrast ratio 2000 with 1, 360 degrees flip, image flip, and lenses is 3 lenses for glasses, it does have 2 display scale options, 16 with 9 or 4 with 3, and battery life, they they say it's up to 30,000 hours of lifetime, projection size is from 17 inches to 100 inches, and noise is 45 decibel, decibels with a battery version of 5000 mAh. Uh, anyway, regarding the battery itself, I'm not sure how they meant the battery life, Because this one doesn't come with the power bank. Maybe, maybe there's an option to add a battery support. I'm not sure about this one. Anyway, guys, I will be immediately using this one as uh, on the tripod since this is very nice tripod and it's gonna help me to, of course, have a better stability and more kind of uh, more usability on different surfaces, surfaces, surface, surface, surface. Let's go now connect it uh, and check it out how it looks like. Okay guys, firstly what, you, uh, what I'll be checking is here the loudness, how loud this projector it is. Or how noisy it is. So far I can tell you I'm amazed, I'm not sure how they managed to do this in a, such a tiny compact projector, uh, not to uh, be lo more loud than this. So to, have, to be honest, for this size and for this price tag, I'm shocked. I was expecting it's going to be more louder. Okay hey guys, let's begin. This is how the UI looks like. So, if, uh, sorry if I blurred a little bit of the stuff because of the women's and everything. I hope you uh, understand me. Anyway, here we go through the settings. Uh, so you can select different picture modes, sound mode, OSD language, of course. From here you can uh, select different aspect ratio, software update through the USB projection zoom. It does have also projection zoom, which is very nice. So picture mode, you can go to dynamic, mild, or user one. We're gonna go back here. The, to be honest, controller works very nice. Controller works very, very nice. Uh, regarding the SD card expansion, I did enable the, uh, I did insert the SD card expansion. So let's try, try to uh, basically open it. Let's see what do we have here. 
There you go guys, we are testing one video over this projector so you can exactly see by yourself how it looks like. To be honest guys, for this money, uh, I think that every single, I think probably you're gonna buy this for your kids uh, or just a secondary projector or for maybe a pro like a cheaper projector which you can take with yourself on the road. This is very nice. So of course we can e enable the speakers up or down, put them up and down with, the uh, with this controller. I'll be also checking the sound speakers just in a minute. This is just a small short test of the video, video samples. By the way guys, I'm uh, doing samples uh, over the SD card expansion. Remember that, not over the PC or over Android uh, smartphone, just over the SD card expansion. There we go. So guys, I think now it's time to test the speakers on maximum volume immediately. And trust me, you'll be shocked. Check this out. Wow, man. For $70, this is amazing speakers, bro. $70. Hey, guys. Okay guys, another test, different track, let's go. Wow, amazing speaker. That's why I know why they advertise the speakers also as the best feature. Indeed it is. And the top five best feature of this projector is the speakers. Wow. There we go. Beautiful guys, for 480p projector, uh, I mean, I wish that it, it was 720p for this money, but what we can do guys, this is still satisfactory here for this price tag, uh, uh, since uh, uh, when I check the speakers, the speakers that add, uh, add the bonus plus uh, on top of all of this, bro. Uh, again, uh, for now, it's sharp enough for this price tag, I'm not uh, complaining too much about the image quality. Uh, anyway, let's go now and check, uh, of course, the gaming for the end. I'll be connecting an Android smartphone or maybe maybe a PC. We'll see what I'm going to choose, guys. For now, uh, video side and audio side for me is a big pass, pass, pass. Okay, guys, Asphalt 8. We'll be testing it right now over the Android smartphone connected to this projector. Remember, your Android phone, it has to have an MHL video output. Usually, flagship phones have this, but uh, budget, cheap, mid-range phones do not have this option, guys. Check this out. Wow, very nice, man. The screen is very sharp. I love the brightness, man. This projector is very, very bright, bro. Seriously, it's very bright for 70 bucks. Wow, this is probably the best alternative to that cheap Xiaomi uh, bamboo projector, which is also selling under uh, 90 bucks, I think, so if I'm not wrong. Or maybe it's $100. For now, this is absolutely lovely. I love this performance. Let's go next. Let's go. That trick it too, guys. So remember, this projector is limited to 30 FPS. You will not get, obviously, 60 FPS, bro. Come on, I, I think you didn't expect that. Nice, very nice, bro. Very, very nice. Beautiful, beautiful. Very playable, guys. The experience so far I'm seeing here, it's very, very playable. We'll be testing another game. So I'll be testing three different games and that should be it for this review video. For now, I love it, guys. Seriously, I love it. I don't have any big complaints. If it was 100 bucks, then I would complain, obviously, but for $70, I don't know how would I even say anything bad about it. Let's go next. Guys, here we go. Bullet Force. Wow, the game runs amazing, man. The game runs amazing here. 
Wow, that's a great frame rate, babe. To be honest, that's a great, great frame rate. guys for the end I'm uh, right now running YouTube uh, over my smartphone guys at 2k 60 FPS resolution there's no point to go to 2k obviously maximum is 1080p output with this projector I just want to show you that uh, even with the YouTube with the HDMI uh, the picture looks amazing bro seriously amazing there we go so for that go back beautiful wow man beautiful Love it. Anyway, guys, if you find this projector uh, to be that kind of, uh, obviously, product which you want to have in your house, or maybe to buy it as a gift for your kids, maybe for your parents, maybe for, I don't know, for maybe for, for education purposes, maybe just to have it for the, like I mentioned, as a secondary uh, on-the-go portable projector for trips, this is it, guys. $70. So you can't make any mistake. Really good projection side, uh, of course, aspect ratio is also two of them is there, available for you, uh, good resolution. I wish that it, uh, it was original 720p, but again, this is probably the best 480p that I tested so far, man. It's sharp enough, guys, for $70. Remember that we have an HDMI output, SD card support also, USB support also, and great speakers, guys. Amazing, amazing speakers. Plus, Aircast, Myercast with it. Master Lemon, have a great day. The buying links uh, for the Banggood will be in the description. Peace out.